Здравствуйте, меня зовут Вера Алексеевна Полякова Норвуд. Добро пожаловать! Добро пожаловать на урок русского языка. И давайте начнем работать. Let's get down to work. Давайте начнем работать. And speaking of работа, during our previous lesson, we learned a lot of words that describe different occupations, different jobs. We talked about шофер, журналист и журналистка, музыкант, инженер, секретарь, фермер, строитель, учитель и учительница, физик, библиотекарь, врач. So I want everybody to repeat after me, please. Шофер, журналист, журналистка, музыкант, инженер, секретарь, фермер, строитель, учитель, учительница. And let's do this one more time. Учительница. Хорошо. Физик, библиотекарь. And we'll do this one more time. I want to, to hear the R at the end. Библиотекарь. Хорошо. Врач. Врач. Хорошо. Now let's do a little bit of reading. Так, let's begin with these words. Everybody reads after me. Шофер. Журналист. Музыкант. Секретарь. Фермер. Инженер. And now read these words in your classrooms. And please read out loud. Хорошо. Хорошо. But that's not all. So let's take a look at another list of words, another list of jobs. Everybody, please read after me. Строитель. Учитель. Учительница. Библиотекарь. Врач. Физик. And now read these words in your classrooms and uh, please read out loud. Хорошо. Хорошо. And now we'll look at the pictures and you will tell me кто они по профессии. Кто он по профессии, кто она по профессии, кто они по профессии. So let's get started. Кто он по профессии? Он шофер. Он шофер. А кто он по профессии? Он фермер. Он фермер. Хорошо. А кто она по профессии? Она секретарь. Она секретарь. А он? Кто он по профессии? Он инженер. Он инженер. Кто он по профессии? 
un muzicant. Un muzicant. A un, cto un pa profesie? Un straițel. Un straițel. A cto un pa profesie? Un uciteel, on uciteel. A Anna, kto Anna ta profesie? Anna uciteelnica. I know that's not easy to say, so let's do this one more time. Anna uciteelnica. Da, Anna uciteelnica. A ona? Kto ona po profesji? Ona bibliotekar. Ona bibliotekar. A on? Kto on po profesji? On fizik. On fizik. Хорошо, хорошо. So we learned a lot about different professions, about profesie. Now let's talk about Ivan Ivanovich in Yevo Simya. And uh, we will discuss profesie for Ivan Ivanovich i Yevo Jana Anna Petrovna. Итак, посмотрите, пожалуйста. Это Анна Петровна. Это Анна Петровна. Анна Петровна учительница. Анна Петровна учительница. Now we know that Анна Петровна is a teacher. Анна Петровна учительница. А это Иван Иванович. Это Иван Иванович. Иван Иванович шофер. Иван Иванович шофер. He is a professional driver. Анна Петровна учительница, а ее муж Иван Иванович шофер. Она учительница, а он шофер. So we are finding out more and more about Ivan Ivanovich и его семья. And now let's take a look at this picture. Это школа. Это школа. Анна Петровна works here. Здесь работает Анна Петровна. Это школа. Здесь работает Anna Petrovna. Notice that at this point, this is the only way we can express where Anna Petrovna works. We can just say, это школа, здесь, here, здесь работает Anna Petrovna. But wouldn't you like to make up a sentence of Anna Petrovna works at school type? so that we can identify not only people's occupations, but also their workplaces, where they work. And to be able to do that, we need to study about the prepositional case. Yes, that's another case in the Russian language. The prepositional case. And the prepositional case allows us to express location, where people live, where people work, where people study, where they go for a nice little stroll, etc., etc. It expresses location. That's the primary function of the prepositional case. But you may be wondering about its name. Why is it, why is it called the prepositional case? And uh, yes, it's called the prepositional case because you always use it with a preposition. Isn't that logical? But 
there are other things that we need to know about the prepositional case. We need to know how to handle the endings. So let's look at this. The prepositional case. В школе. At school. В библиотеке. At the library. В театре. At the theater. В магазине. In the store or at the store. В Москве. In Moscow. You notice that we are using the preposition в, which means in or at. В. And now look at the endings. All these nouns, all these words appear with the year ending. Yes, that's the basic ending for the prepositional case. Masculine nouns receive the year ending. Feminine nouns change their endings from a to year. В школе, в библиотеке, в театре, в магазине, в Москве. And now I want everybody to read these phrases after me. So let's take a look at it one more time. В школе, в библиотеке, в театре, в магазине, в Москве. Did you notice how I blend the preposition with the next word? I pronounce it as one sound complex. В школе. Don't separate the preposition from the next word. It's one sound complex. This makes the Russian language flow the way it does. В школе. В библиотеке. В театре. В магазине. В Москве. Now read these phrases in your classrooms. Хорошо. Хорошо. So at school. В школе. In the library. В библиотеке. At the theater. В театре. In the store. В магазине. And finally, in Moscow. В Москве. And here is our basic prepositional case ending. The prepositional case allows us to express location, where we live, work, study, etc., etc. Хорошо. So let's take a look at these pictures and you will tell me where these people work. Итак, let's look at this. Это школа. Он работает в школе. He works at school. Он работает в школе. Did you say that in your classrooms? One more time, please. Он работает в школе. Хорошо. Она библиотекарь. What can we say about where she works? Она работает в библиотеке. At the library. В библиотеке. Хорошо. Where does he work? In the garage. Он работает в гараже. Он работает в гараже. Хорошо. Он физик. So what can we say about his workplace? He probably works at an institute. Он работает в институте. Он работает в институте. We can use the word institute for a science research institute. And that's where he works. Он работает в институте. Хорошо. 
And how about this group of doctors? Where do they work? They work at the hospital. В больнице. Они работают в больнице. Они работают в больнице. Хорошо. Хорошо. Now let's return to our discussion about Ivan Ivanovich и его семья. We already know that Ivan Ivanovich шофер, а его жена Анна Петровна учительница. So where do they work? Иван Иванович работает в гараже, а Анна Петровна, Анна Петровна работает, and now you tell me where, в школе, Анна Петровна работает в школе. Let's look at this paragraph. Иван Иванович шофер. Он работает в гараже, а Анна Петровна учительница. Она работает в школе. And now I want you to read this paragraph in your classrooms. And yes, read it out loud. Хорошо, хорошо. Итак, Иван Иванович шофер, он работает в гараже, а Анна Петровна учительница, она работает в школе, она работает в школе. Ну, хорошо. And now pick up your pins, and we are going to practice with the prepositional case, how to add prepositions and how to change endings on nouns. So let's look at this. We shall begin with школа. So how do we say at school? No, we use the preposition в and uh, then we know that yeah is our basic prepositional case ending. So instead of this ending, I'm going to write я yeah. в школе, at school, в школе, институт. So we use the same preposition в институту. And I need to add the year ending now. В институте. В школе. В институте. Хорошо. Гараж. That's where Иван Иванович works. Да? Иван Иванович работает в гараже. В гараже. And please notice the ending. В гараже. Yeah is our basic prepositional case ending. В школе, в институте, в гараже. And now let's continue. We have more nouns to work with. Библиотека. В библиотека. Here. Instead of the a, I have a year on this noun. В библиотеке. 
at the library or in the library. Okay? Moskva. We use the same preposition. V. Mask. Via. Of Moskva. In Moscow. Not just Moscow, but in Moscow. V. Moskva. Now it's in the prepositional case. Magazin. How can we say in the store or at the store? V. Magazine. V. Magazine. Same ending. Ye is our basic prepositional case ending. V. Magazine. V. Bibliotheke. V. Moskvia. V. Magazine. In the store. And uh, let's practice with this too. V. At the hospital or in the hospital, v в больнице. I am changing a to е. В больнице. In the hospital. And how do I handle park in the prepositional case? В парке. That's right. В парке. I'm simply adding the ending on park. В парке, in the park. В больнице, in the hospital. That is not difficult, is it? Just remember about using a preposition, just like you do in the English language, at school, in the library, in the store, in the garage, in the park. V, and then you use a noun with the year ending on it because it's now in the prepositional case. It identifies location. No, хорошо. But if if this were all that you need to know about the prepositional case, that'd be too easy. No. Sometimes we use the preposition v, but sometimes we use a different preposition. We use the preposition na. And there's just a list of nouns that you have to remember that go along with the preposition na. So let's take a look at them. Prepositional case. We say na работе at work. Na заводе at the plant. Na фабрике at the factory. Na стройке at the construction site and uh, na pensii on pension meaning someone is retired na работе na заводе na стройке na pensii okay now read these phrases after me please na работе на заводе, на фабрике, на стройке, на пенсии. And I will give you a minute to read these phrases in your classrooms. Okay, and let's go over them one more time. На работе, на заводе, на фабрике, на стройке, на пенсии. And you notice that this last phrase has the E ending. It's not an error. It's not a mistake. Let's take a closer look at пенсия, pension, retirement. Pensia. Pensia. Sounds almost like pension. Pensia. One more time. Pensia. Pensia ends in ia. 
And it's these two letters that make this word take that unusual E ending in the prepositional case. So when we say on pension, and this phrase means retired, someone is living on pension. Look at this. Na pensie. Na pensie. On na pensie. He is retired. Ana na pensie. She is retired. Or they are retired. Ani na pensie. Na pensie. So there's a little thing that we need to remember about these types of nouns. So let's look at, um, at this, the prepositional case, and please remember that nouns ending in ia, ie, i receive the e ending. We say v Russia in Russia and v upražnieniji in the exercise. Nouns ending in ia, ie, i receive the e ending. But all other nouns take the regular ye ending. There are all these little things that we have to be careful with. There are all these exceptions that we need to learn to um, and uh, keep in memory. No, хорошо. So let's take a look at a few pictures and you will tell me where these people work. Хорошо. Итак, где они работают? Они работают на заводе. At the plant. На заводе. Так, а где они работают? Они работают на фабрике. At the factory. На фабрике. Где они работают? Они работают на стройке. At the construction site. Строители работают на стройке. And finally, what we can say about this group of people. They are retired. Они на пенсии. Они на пенсии. Ну, хорошо. Well, lots of things that you have to practice with after this lesson. So right away, please pull out your additional exercises and uh, complete all of them. You need to receive good practice with the use of the prepositional case. And at home, take your textbooks, find урок номер три. On page 98, there's a nice exercise, uh, 4.3. I want you to work on sentences 7 through 10. 7 through 10. So do this exercise in writing. I also need you to read section 3.6. It talks about the use of the prepositional case. And review notes taken in class. What you also need to do is get ready for a vocabulary quiz. So review all the names of different city places and names of different occupations. Ну, хорошо, хорошо. Большое спасибо и до свидания.